Hey guys, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about protein kinase A. Protein kinase A is a tetramer with four subunits. It has two regulatory subunits denoted as R and two catalytic subunits denoted as C. Each regulatory subunit has binding sites for two cyclic AMP molecules. Since there are two regulatory subunits, there are total four binding sites for cyclic AMP. In absence of cyclic AMP, the regulatory subunits binds with the catalytic subunit and inhibits its activity. Cyclic AMP usually act as cell signaling molecule. In presence of any cell signal, the concentration of cyclic AMP in the cell will increase. Now, when the cyclic AMP molecules binds with the regulatory subunit, the regulatory subunit gets disassociated from the catalytic subunit. Remember, the activation of protein kinase A in presence of cyclic AMP is an allosteric activation. Here, the regulatory subunit undergoes a conformational change and causes disassociation of two free catalytic subunits. The activated catalytic subunits of protein kinase A can phosphorylate varieties of protein molecules. The proteins that gets phosphorylated by active protein kinase A has the following sequence. Here X stands for any amino acid residue while B stands for any hydrophobic amino acid.